Another interesting article from the Western Journal headline says the following. NFL kicks off the season by violating U.S. flag code. Disrespecting our flag is not patriotic. It says the NFL kicked off its season with controversy over how the American flag was used as part of pregame ceremonies. So they always have to do something. If they're not kneeling, they have to do something that goes against the United States. During the playing of the national anthem before the game between the Buffalo Bills and the Los Angeles Rams at SoFi Stadium, a mammoth flag replica was unveiled on the field. While that is a common sight before games, it is a violation of the U.S. flag code, which reads, the flag should never be carried flat or horizontally, but always aloft and free. Now, there's a lot of significance in that, I think, because they're not letting it aloft and free. It's like a symbolism that your freedoms are going to be gone sooner than you think. That's just my opinion. It goes on to say, more disturbing to some viewers, there was also a major change this time. Instead of the flag's usual rectangular shape, this version had been cut to resemble the outline of the continental United States, which again goes along with what I believe. It says, many on social media expressed disappointment over the NFL's treatment of the flag. Such a damn shame that the NFL has such disregard for the flag code. Now this is a picture of the continental United States flag. And you can see how distorted it is too. The, state of, the whole state of Michigan has gone and underneath where California is, it's just distorted. It's distorted all around, but those are the main two places that really draw my eyes to it. It says, OMG, NFL is disrespecting troops by cutting up a U.S. flag. Did not see that coming. If you are still upset with Kaepernick for kneeling during the national anthem, but don't care that the NFL desecrated an American flag for tonight's Buffalo Bills versus Rams pregame, you're an idiot. One fan said part of the lower 48 appeared to be lopped off. Yeah, exactly. Is this the greatest disrespect for the Lions ever? They leave the state of Michigan off the flag. Really? Is this the league of the or the Rams and Stafford trolling us? Also not sure by rule you're allowed to alter the flag. It says before the game, the death of Britain's Queen Elizabeth II was marked by or with a moment of silence, according to NFL.com. Once again, the league also embraced social justice messaging. During Thursday's kickoff game, players from both the Buffalo Bills and Los Angeles Rams will wear helmets featuring Choose Love as part of the league's social justice helmet decal messaging this season, which will also include other phrases such as end racism, stop hate, and inspire change, among others, the league said in the news, news release Wednesday. According to USA Today, all Rams chose to wear the Choose Love decal while Bills players had assorted decals. And you know what else the Choose Love goes with, right? Oddly enough. The NFL said the Choose Love message was added this year in response to an uptick in hate crime and gun violence around the country. Well, yeah. Create the problem, come up with the solution. On the field, Buffalo defeated the Super Bowl champion Rams 31-10, to 10, if anybody cares, which I don't, but this was interesting, and I will put a link in the description if you want to read this article for yourself. As always, put your faith and trust in Jesus, repent of your sins, and have a blessed day.